Hello shooters, thanks for watching Tyron channel. Today's episode of TI Goes to School is how to shoot an AK pistol. Alright, AK pistol. Pistol is defined as something that cannot have a buttstock. This is a shockwave blade uh, arm brace. According to the ATF, this is in early, this is in February 2017. The ATF says that you cannot shoulder this or you turn it into a firearm. It hasn't been challenged in courts. It'll probably get beat, but I'm not going to take my chances. I don't want to lose my home and loft suit, so I will abide by the law. This is the best way to shoot one of these things and abide within the ruling of the ATF. There's a couple ways you can do it. One, the, the best way, I'll explain to you, the worst way is to use it like this. If you And we'll see at the range. If you try and shoot it like this, the 7.62x39 round, it weighs, you know, more than two times what a 5.56 round weighs. So you're going to have two times as much, you know, recoil going on. Plus the bolt carrier in an AK is much heavier than what you find in, a, in an AR. So you got a lot more mass and force coming back towards you. So when you shoot this thing like a handgun, kind of, it is not fast on target. Um, and it's kind of a beast to control. No sling, no arm brace. I'm shooting at a, a rock about a foot in diameter out there at 100 yards. And you can see that the gun rises a lot. And there's some recoil to it. It even gets away from me a little bit on a shot right here. You can put a sling on and just use a sling independently where you don't have to use your cheek. Uh, this is really uh, what the, M the SAS did with the MP5. They didn't use a, a cheek weld or anything at all. They stuck their MP5s out against a sling like this. Um, but it still, you'll see on the video, it still produces a lot of recoil coming back. A 9mm won't, but this 7.62 tube of 39 will. Here's a sling and no arm brace. Much more stable than just the handgun by itself, but there's still a ton of movement. Watch how the gun moves after the shot. It rises quite a bit. I gotta reacquire the sights to get it around on target. The very best way to employ this bad boy is to get the cheek, to get the arm brace out against the cheek, push out against the sling and now you can get some controllability unlike the AR pistol this is still measurably slower than putting the firearm in your shoulder because of the heavier caliber and the more mass of the, the bolt carrier coming back so my with the with the AR pistol my times like this uh, doing the 10 rounds at 5 yards into a paper plate with the AR, AR pistol, my times were same, same with the AR carbine. With the AK pistol, my times are measurably slower than with the regular AK. Not a ton, I'll show you the differences there, but it is measurably slower because of the increased mass, the bolt carrier coming back, and because it's a heavier round. You just got more, uh, more physics going on there. So let's go out to the range and I'll show you shooting these three different positions and the times. Okay, you can see that with no sling you can just shooting it like a handgun. The gun's moving up and down. The front sight comes up quite a ways. The rear sight comes down quite a ways. And they gotta fight the gun to bring it back on target. It's kind of oscillating in the figure eight. Here it is with a sling, but without the, sh the shoulder brace extended. And this still moves around a lot. Watch how it moves up around my face area. It's more stable because the sling is still moving around a lot on the back end. Here it is again, using the brace against my cheek and pushing out with the sling see how much more stable that is. It's still moving a lot, a lot more than the AR pistol. Here we are in super slow-mo. 
Watch the rear of the gun. See how it's moving around like that? Here's really slow-mo. See how the rear of the gun is moving all around? So is the front. So I'm having to fight it to find the sights again when it's back on target. Now when it's against my cheek using the sling, watch how much more stable it is. this is. Again, not as smooth as with the AR pistol, because it's shooting a smaller caliber. But there's just no question, when you're shooting this thing, there's just no question at all that with the sling pushing straight out with the brace against the cheek, it is by far the most stable. Here we are in super slow-mo with the sling and the arm brace against my cheek. Look how little movement there is during the firing sequence. I don't have to fight the gun to find the sights and bring it back on target. It's really a night and day difference. Two-handed with no sling and no brace, it's jumping all around. With the bra with the sling and no brace, it's still moving around a lot, but better than, than nothing. But you add the, the brace on the cheek there, plus pushing out against the sling, and it is uh, totally a different ball game. Here are the times, hands only with the arm brace folded, <clears throat> 4.95 for the 10 rounds at 5 yards into a paper plate. This is the sling with the arm brace folded, 3.57, and here's the sling with the arm brace on the cheek. As you can see, the time is much faster with the using the sling and the arm brace on the cheek. My times with a regular AK with a regular stock are right around 2.25. So a little bit slower here, but much more controllable. Much the same as the AR pistol. When it comes time to deploy the AR the AK pistol, I will sling it up and push out against the sling when I'm putting it into using this against my cheek. This by far gives me the most controllability. Uh, by far. It, the most controllability. This against my cheek, pushing out against the sling. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope maybe you learned something. Please post your comments below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, ensure that your training and your practice is preparing you for the real world. Your real world. And not for the fantasy land of the shooting range. And have a nice day.